I'm Dr. Kena Day, and this is Teaching for Tomorrow. I serve as the Vice President of Curriculum Assessments and Instruction at DSST Public Schools, where I get the opportunity to work in collaboration with school directors as well as managing directors to be able to make sure that we are providing the most equitable education for students as possible. Coming out of the pandemic, we just have to do education differently. And if we can really think through and listen to our students and their families and how we can really bring these pieces together, this is an exciting time to really bring real world into our classrooms and bring in our communities into classrooms and being able to really provide something equitable for students. So I just really encourage people to tap into some of these new things that are starting to emerge, AI being one of them, and really just try to learn as much as you can to really bring something really exciting to students. This is a great time in education, and we just have to make sure we're staying on top of it, so we're providing as much as we can for students. I would like to see a classroom in 2050, you know, being where students are really driving the instruction, that student voice is the center of what's happening, and whatever technological components that we need to have in place for students to be able to engage in education exist. So if that means that we want to, you know, in a biology class, study, you know, whales or something like that, we can actually go to a place in Alaska, you know, and watch that as a class. And I'm seeing that take place now. So I would just love to see that in every single classroom that we see. School districts have to get in front of it. I think that the more that school districts can start to put policies in place on what is appropriate and what is not. We can't expect the people who create the apps to also be able to talk about the management of it. And so we have to do that at the you know school district level in a collaborative way to be able to make sure that all stakeholders from you know the staff at the schools to also the community partners and families understand like what is acceptable, what is not acceptable. In the school district that I serve, um, we had a task force um, where our systems design uh, team came and brought, you know, our data team, our assessment team, you know, curriculum and assessment, you know, all of all, all of those people, um, people at the school district, um, school level, all of that. To, they came together and we started to put a policy together and we kind of educated together, read pieces together, kind of talked through it as a team and then kind of started to work on a first policy to talk about data privacy and just making sure that everybody understands what happens with that. So we have done that work to get closer to having some type of management. I think over the next year, we'll continue to talk about what technology um, we will provide for teachers um, and be able to make sure that we have appropriate professional development for stakeholders to be able to engage in that. So I definitely see that emerging for our school district in the next year. One thing that I would think administrators uh, and teachers would need to remember about building an equitable educational you know, space for students is that there's a lot of identity work that has to take place with that. And at the end of the day, we have to just think about our biases. We have to think about our privileges. We have to think about you know, the different things that could really impact how we're offering education to students. And then once we can kind of really make sure that we do that ongoing practice, we get the opportunity then to make sure that we're thinking about the students who are in front of us, that we're listening to their families, that we're listening to our students and the things that they're you know, excited to learn about and making sure that we bring those aspects into the classroom as much as possible. The last thing that I would just say about an equitable educational experience for students includes teachers and educators who have high expectations for their output. As long as we can make sure that you know, we are always keeping the bar high and we're giving students the support that they need to be able to reach that bar, students will always go for it. And that's something that I just really want educators to take from this is at the end of the day, like if we can keep that bar high and we can make it engaging and we can make it something that students can really get into and get excited about, that is when equity takes place in our classrooms. Thanks for watching. I am Dr. Kena Day, and this is Teaching for Tomorrow.